So this is now the families of the three miners who were trapped underground when the Lily mine collapsed in February of 2016 near Barberton in Pumalanga say that they've not lost hope that the remains of their loved ones will be retrieved. In October last year, the Nelspreet Magistrates Court declared Preeti Kambule, Yvonne Mnesi and Solomon Nirenda dead after the container they were working in sunk and got trapped approximately 70 uh, meters underground. And eight years, uh, eight years later, their bodies are yet to be retrieved. The families of the miners marked 2,000 years, uh, 2,000 days rather, uh, since they camped outside the mine hoping for the remains to be retrieved. And for more on this, let's welcome Zetu Tlajwai from the National Association of Artisanal Miners. Zetu, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Good afternoon. So, 2,000 days since this tragic incident unfolded and still no update on efforts to retrieve the bodies of those miners trapped in the collapse. So what do you say to this as artisanal miners? Uh, no, <clears throat> thank you very much uh, for the opportunity and for the time. And we must really uh, pay our humble respects to the families that have lost their last life, or loved ones, you know, through that accident. But uh, this is a reality that is happening for the majority of uh, artisanal miners who are working in the sector, you know. So, uh, 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 so long as we are moving slow with the uh, issues of formalization, regulation, and legalization of the sector, we will have a lot of people, you know, not being uh, buried in the right way, not being given the proper uh, sending off by their families. Because uh, if you, you lose your life underground and under the under the the, 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 the circumstances as we speak now, it is difficult uh, for 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 for. For, for your family to get closure, you know. So it is important that we legalize and regulate the sector so that families can have just with their, with their loved ones and they can also pay their, their loved ones with respect and with love because we all know that uh, we are human beings who are, we, we, we belong to families that love us. So it is a, it's been a traumatic experience for those families. I can't imagine how difficult it is, you know, to lose your loved ones and don't have an opportunity, you know, to, 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 to give them your proper send off at the end. But this must be uh, something that must be taken into consideration when it, when we're looking at the sector, you know, DMRE and all the stakeholders, role players actually that are playing uh, uh, in, in, in that, that are active in this sector. They should be, you know, collaborating and all of us because some of the areas where uh, uh, it is uh, the, uh, um, some of the areas that uh, maybe uh, the, the challenge that is faced by the by the rescue. Uh, practitioners to retrieve those uh, uh, remains is a challenge but you can find that uh, artisanal miners do have access then they can be able to get to those areas and spaces they can be able to assist so i'm i'm calling for a collaborate collaborative approach that can be implemented uh, with NAM artisanal miners in, in, involved, we can be able to bring closer to these families. But so long as we don't uh, frustrate this regulation, formalization, and legalization of the sector, we will have a lot of uh, accidents like this. And most of them, they are not known because we don't know uh, all the areas of, of South Africa and where artisanal mining is active. Mm -hmm. Now, Zetu, I mean, this incident, just on your point there, uh, has obviously had a far greater impact and effect on not just the families as well as the community uh, who saw, whom we saw for days uh, standing vigil outside the mine uh, with members of the family hoping to hear some news of their loved ones. And I guess this brings into sharper focus then the conduct, as you've made reference to, of the mine as well as other mines that have prospecting licenses but don't necessarily invest in the safety as well as well being of their workers. All right, we look, uh, it seems like we have lost Z2 there. That was Z2 Hladjwayo, the spokesperson for the NAAM. As we, of course, we observed 2,000 days since the Lily Mine collapsed.